Hi guys, welcome to Cramble. Today we're celebrating the 4th of July with our American cousins across the pond. We've taken loads of their banging recipes, so watch out for more coming your way. Today we're gonna to do a honey roast chicken with a corn salsa. Check it out. So we're not on the barbecue today, we're just gonna do it in a pan because we're inside. You can do this on a barbecue, it's just as easy. So we're gonna start with the chicken. I've got a nice corn fed chicken that I'm just gonna lug with a bit of oil. Salt. And a crack of black pepper. And we're just going to get these into a hot pan. Then we'll flip them over, put them in the oven so that skin stays lovely and crispy. And we get that beautiful honey butter flavour in there with a bit of chipotle spice. So, let's get these nice and caramelised. Whack them up to a medium high heat so you get a lovely crisp on that skin. So you can hear now that's getting nice and brown. We're getting nice and caramelised. So I'll just turn that down a little bit. What will also help this is the honey and the butter that's going to go in it. So I've just got some nice butter here I got from the farm shop. Wow, oh, I smell that now. Well, you can't, I can. If you're outside, summer's day, a couple of beers. So that butter's just started to caramelise. That's what you're looking for, a golden brown skin. Beautiful. And then we're going to add a honey. A honey, not a honey, a glug of honey. Don't be shy with it, yeah? Keep it nice and sweet. And then some chipotle hot sauce. I just use this one. It's really nice, smoky. That'll just bake into the chicken skin as well. And the chicken flesh, make it delicious. It's not too spicy, that one. So, flip your chicken over. Get it all out. It smells, it smells amazing, lovely, smoky and sweet and buttery and delicious. And then that goes into the oven for about 20 minutes. Now time to make the corn salsa. You can get whole ears of corn and burn them off on a barbecue and just chop them off. I'm making this as easy as possible by getting tinned corn. It's really nice, herby, chilli, garlicky, lemony deliciousness. And there's some parmesan in there for good measure. So come and have a look, get a bit closer and I'll show you what we need to do. So we've got some herbs here. So I've got some basil, some coriander and some mint. Just rip it off the stalks, because that stalk, the stalk's quite woody. So once that's all on your board, just keep it safe, keep it real. That's an American term, isn't it? Roughly chopped, beautiful and herby. That goes in your bowl. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no thing with some corn and chicken wing. After eating a massive amount of corn out of tin, because it's delicious, get that in. Give that a stir. So only a little bit of lemon zest, and you just want to take you don't want to go too deep onto the lemons, just be careful. You don't want to take the pith. <laughs> and then a bit of juice as well. Just to loosen it up and give it a bit of sharpness. Then garlic. Into a garlic crusher. So just, just one clove. I mean, you can use as much as you want, like, but. And then chili. Just, I'm going to keep the seeds in this. So I'm going to cut down the middle, turn it 90 degrees cut down the middle again, okay? And then chop it really fine. So that goes in, bit of salt, obs, big glug of oil, and then a little bit more of our chipotle hot sauce. It looks amazing, so colorful, so, so colorful. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Tell you what it needs. Woo! Got a bit of chilli then. Tell you what it needs. Parmesan. So, you just want to put a couple of scrapes of parmesan in there. Not too much. Chicken's been in for about 20 minutes now. Let's have a look. Yeah, man, it's looking good. It's looking really good. So that chicken's cooked perfect for me. And it's left a lovely, lovely sauce. So you just want to take your chicken out of the pan. Just pop it onto a board. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to reduce this liquid so it's really sticky and we're going to put the chicken back in and cut it all up so it all goes lovely and gooey and sticky. Right, so you've got that liquid in there from your chicken. We just want to get that up onto a high heat now. We need to get that reduced. It needs to be sticky so this chicken can go straight back in, get it all coated and make it all nice and sexy. Okay, so that liquid's come down really nice and sticky and gooey. So we want to get that chicken back in there and we want to get it all coated up. So it's all nice and sexy and it all sits and drips off that chicken and then that lovely corn salsa. Just stir it all around. Careful not to pick the pan up like I did. 
soft lad. Uh, and then we're ready to go now, we're ready to play. So let's see how this looks in one of our fancy barbecue bowls. I'm gonna turn up to my cookout and the guys are gonna love me. That is so, so tasty. Check the recipe out on the website for a proper measurements. And remember, God bless America. <laughs>